Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 22nd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest studios. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, the, most of the cryptocurrency market has been rallying significantly in the weekend. We'll start by looking at the daily chart for, for Bitcoin. And as you can see, we're getting close to 60,000. So, yes, this is, again, getting very, very parabolical. And uh, to be fair honest, I don't really like this move that the cryptocurrency market is uh, doing at the moment. Yes, it's you can earn a lot of money, but you can also get caught in these highs because we're getting into territories where RSI numbers and so on doesn't really, don't really make sense anymore. I think we're, we're seeing this growth because people, well, the growth, people want to get into the action. So you're just, just buying and not considering that most of these cryptocurrencies are so overbought, overstretched at this point that it's technically like buying into GameStop when it was basically at its peak in the in the in that rally. And yes, you can basically get caught at the very highs and it can basically stay there for several, several, several years before we ever get to that point again. So we have seen this move in the past. We have seen it back in 2017, where everybody was talking that Bitcoin was going to go uh, continue growing forever. Uh, that's never the case. Moves like this, they never last. They don't. They will. Uh, it will fall down at some point. We did get a taste of it here, where it fell roughly 20-25%. But in, back in 2017, it fell 50% in one week. One week. So that basically means that we could drop from here all the way down to roughly uh, 25 to 30,000 within one week. That's what happened back in 2017. And uh, yes, when you get to RSI levels, uh, for example, in the weekly chart, you can see it here, we're at 88 in the RSI. And this is the move back in 2000, you can get it over here. This is the move in 2017. We broke from 20,000 all the way down to 3,000. This is the move in 2021, right? It is even more parabolical than the move here. We're at we're approaching 60,000, and yes, we could see something similar to this. That basically means that we could break all the way down to the 200 moving average at 8,900. So yes, this is a market that is well driven by news. It is every single day that you have positive news that Bitcoin is going to well trillions and trillions and trillions in value and so on. And you people are basically watching this and saying we want to get part of the action and that is increasing the price. There is technically no real value behind this. So just keep that in mind. Yes, it's a smart technology, but it will never become a currency. It doesn't matter how often people say that. It will never ever become a currency because, uh, because central banks and governments will never let go of their monopoly or money. So in the end, they will create their own um, electronic currency and uh, this will basically be outlawed. That will most likely happen in the future if this goes out of control because it will become even more regulated when people will start losing money if we see another fall like this. But on the technical side, if you look at the at the daily chart, daily chart, 20 exponential has been holding, the 50 has been holding. So when we pull back towards the 20, it has been rallying. The same goes for the 50. When we pull back towards the 50, it has been rallying. As long as that is the case, this will go continue going higher. Uh, technical indicators are uh, fairly bullish at this point. That's stochastic is bullish. That's MACD is bullish. CCI is showing signs of turning around here. And the RSI is at 78, which is significantly overbought. So let's look at Ethereum. So we did see a uh, 
quite a big fall here towards the 20 exponential at 1800 and then it rallied again technical indicators are turning around for for this cryptocurrency we are under uh, need uh, 75 but not in the 79 70 if you look at the weekly chart we can see that we're above 90. so if i remember right bitcoin when it fell on in 2017 it was at 93 as well 94 93 around this area here when it basically had this massive breakdown we can also see where ether was back in 2017 it was also it was basically lower than that it was at 80 give or take 84 when we had this fall so it rallied up towards uh, 1416 and fell all the way down to 72 yes that happened in a span of roughly roughly a year from 2018 beginning of 2018 to the end of uh, 2018 so yes yes fairly similar moves here i would not be surprised if we uh, see a complete collapse of these markets and so on because it is as i said probably most likely news that is uh, the positive news and people want to get into the action that is driving these markets to higher levels it doesn't make any sense that we have over 2004 uh, well thousands of cryptocurrencies that doesn't really make any sense some of these probably will will survive in the long run um, and then you technically also even doubt that but we did break 2000 that was a um, um, uh, big target for for this uh, cryptocurrency uh, but we have started falling down and will probably fall towards the 20 exponential in the in the past that has been how this has behaving pulling back to the 50 that is all the way back here in uh, in December but otherwise the 20 exponential has been very supported in this market so let's look at ADA yes so this went completely parabolical on on Saturday we went from 0 0.8089 all the way up to 1.15 and uh, we rallied again a little bit on on Sunday and on uh, this morning or we went to 1.17 and now we're back at roughly 1.01 so one uh, one dollar is basically looks like it's holding that's also you know, close to the previous highs here technical indicators they are well fairly bullish still MACD is bullish the stochastic is bullish the CCI is bullish we're at 82 in the in the in the rsi so yes that is very significantly overbought for the daily chart so if you look at the weekly chart yes i don't have to say any more than this we're at the 94 here in the in the rsi these moves they just can't last forever it doesn't really matter what it is if it's apple stock or google stock or and so on everything that basically moves in the web goes basically um uh, vertical uh, it tends to have a similar downfall so we can look at the for example Fibonacci retracements for this that just seems if we were to fall towards the Fibonacci retracements levels the first one is here 0 0.73 next one is here it's 59 and the third one is here at uh, 46 and uh, yes if these markets start to tumble that is probably where we are going that's also the previous highs over here and um, that is also where we find the 20 exponential and the 50 is going to move in this direction so let's look at uh, Light litecoin so we did rally up towards uh, uh, 243 we have turned around in litecoin we most likely going back towards uh, 200 as it looks like here we're going to turn around here go back to 200 tested the 200 uh, that 20 exponential moving average if you see the technical indicators they are all turning around we're at 67 here in the rsi it is a uh, critical currency that it's not as parabolical as most of the others are like uh, you can just uh, bnb and and uh, other cryptocurrencies that are growing 300 percent in a month and so on this has been growing in uh very similar to 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 some of um, the of the commodities 
uh, but still very, very um, aggressive moves from roughly $48 back in, this is basically October last year, uh, to all the way up towards $243 in the beginning of 2021. So yes, that is a massive, massive move to the upside. And uh, yes, if you look at the weekly chart, we can see that we are not at the previous highs, which is 377. We are still getting very parabolical here. We are at 80 here in the RSI. is is lower than most of the other cryptocurrencies, but still very parabolical. We did also have a move here back in 2019, and it fell all the way down to $26. And uh, yes, we'll have to see how far this goes. But but if Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will fall, this will also fall with it. So let's look at uh, Neo. So as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards uh, fifty-three dollars, and then, well, we also broke down towards uh, 40, uh, 40, um, 41 dollars. So this has been basically all over the place in the weekend. We we're mostly targeting these previous highs in the in the in the past back over here, back over here. That's roughly at the fifty-six dollars. We are far away from the all-time highs here at $144 for this cryptocurrency. But we are also getting very, very overstretched. We are at 84 in the RSI. Technical indicators in the weekly chart are still bullish. If you look at the daily chart, they are also bullish here. But the CCI is becoming basically flat at this point. Um, yes, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential. That is has proven to be uh, very supportive. Ported. And even if we go towards the 50 all the way down to $27, that is also going to be massive support at this point. So let's look at Tron. So we did also rally on, on uh, Friday and also we broke down, started breakdown on Saturday. And on Sunday, we did break all the way down towards 0 0.05 and then we rallied again. So this is a very bullish candlestick. So there is uh, the 20 exponential right underneath here. We are, every time we get basically close to that, it's, it tends to rally. However, technical indicators are fairly mixed. We're on the edge of being overbought. CCI is turning around. Stochastic looks like it's turning around and the MACD is basically flat at this point. But uh, we'll probably find a lot of resistance down here at 0 0.049. That is probably as far as this will go in the short term. Uh, Long-term target probably will be 0 0.07. So, yes. I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the support channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.